How do you turn an idea into a full story for a book? This is something that I've been thinking about a lot because I'm just starting to write a new book. So I thought it might be interesting to talk through a process that I went through for Playing for Love. So often you start with the core idea, the what if. So if for Playing for Love, the what if was, what if two people had secret identities and he was in love with her for one scenario and she was in love with him for, another, for the other scenario. And they kept turning each other down because they thought they were in love with someone else. Now that's great, but that's not a full story, that's just an idea. So the next thing you have to do is to add characters. So I thought, okay, I'll have Sam and Luke. And then you need to think, well, what did they want? Because for any story to hang together, there has to be a goal, a thing that your character wants. And there has to be obstacles in the way, stopping them from getting to the thing. So what is the thing that they wanted? In the computer game scenario, that was fairly easy. I thought, if I put them in a tournament, they want to win. That's easy. They have this goal. They have these steps to get through. They have to win each stage to get to it. Okay. Then, but what about real life? So I had to think a bit more about Sam. Who is Sam? What does she want? And so her external goal, the plotty goal, if you like, is that she's an entrepreneur, she makes these inserts that go into handbags, she wants to get a deal to get them in the big shops. That's what she wants, that's her goal. For Luke, slightly difficult, I thought, well, maybe he's got a business partner that's not very not pulling their weight, and he wants to own his company outright. Again, that's his goal. Those are both external goals. But they also need an internal goal, because they need something that they need, as opposed to want. And what Sam needs, I decided, was to believe in herself and to pave her own way. Then what Luke needs was to be more... He's two people. He's, he's Blaze when he's online, who's very confident, and he's Luke when he's in real life, who's not confident, and he just needs to be more Blaze. Okay, so once I've got those, so I've got there external goals, their internal goals for both of them because I like romances, I write dual point of view romances so they both need to have a full character journey. And then all I had to do was go right this is what they want, these are the ways they fail to get it and this is how they eventually get it and then you end up with something that looks like a plot. 